mind. And if your mind is not renewed, you can't stay on this straight path. You will know this straight path because you're only listening to what men read and from a book. This is why a lot of uh, a lot of these young people who just read in different books and they say, listen, none of them, they, they, they don't even know the truth. There isn't any truth. That, that, that statement in itself is a contradiction because the claim we don't have any truth is a truth claim that what now destroy that statement. And a lot of pastors, they don't even know how to refute that same refute um, statement that is refuting itself, but yet still they're standing and saying, God, logic has nothing to do with God. Such fools. They are fools. You all are fools. And they need to learn that logic precedes God from man's perspective. You need to have a logical man in order to meet God. So you can't meet God without logic. You need logic to meet God. So from man's perspective, logic precedes God. You need logic first. And then as you apprehend God, the unknown God, the God who is not within time, space, and matter, is not a leap of faith. It's not a leap of faith. It's not like when they say, well... Oh, Thomas, he doubted, but yet he believed. No, it's like Christ was saying, Thomas, Thomas, wait, I even understand in the Thomas. All these things you saw me do, and you still want to put your finger in my hand. But Thomas, you know what? Let me, let me, let me tell you something. Bless are those who didn't see and believe. Because you, to show the point of your skepticism that I declare that I will raise, I will stand, and I will ascend. And you saying, you don't believe it? So he is showing us there that right after that day in John, the, if you read the portion, and he went on to show all the evidence that he has been given so that we will know that he is the God. The God who transcended time, came down, put on flesh, and became man, counted not robbery. Two natures, two natures distinct. Total God and a total man, not 50-50. Not all these crap that they're teaching on the internet and have people going astray. And all these young people who go in there seeking and they're getting errors. We need to teach our people the truth. And scripture is clear because there's one scarlet thread throughout scripture. A threefold cord cannot be broken. And Christ has revealed himself from the opening of the Torah to the closing of scripture in Revelation. He has made himself known. Listen, this evening, as we just go into this first verse of that which erect the house for this fight. That which we tree, we're going to be planted by the rivers of living water. We know what that means. Meaning that foundation is not upon some, some leap of faith. That's a lie. Faith is a bad word. Forget to throw it out. Amuna, I mean, Amuna means to be firm. Means, means that which is secure. That which you stand upon. That which gives support. So when you say, I have faith in God. Meaning your support. The word of God, meaning you, the word of God is now standing upon you and you are standing upon the word of God because it's a support system. And the first support is who? Yeshua Mashiach. And you are the support for the world here in this wicked culture because if you can't stand based upon what this Torah teach about you being a new creature and only addressing your sinful, wicked, divisive element, element of self, then shame on you. You don't know Christ. Mm -hmm. You don't know Yeshua Mashiach. Come, know Yeshua Mashiach. For he has paid the price all. And he is calling us to be what? Straight and level. It's up to you. He did it. It is finished. It is shalom. Shalom, 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 meaning the price is paid in full. You owe nothing for this, what I have done. And that's the cry that he cried on Calvary. Not this word, that tell us tide. It's shalom. 
Christ has done it. Shalom. See you guys next week.